Hello, my furniture refinishing friends. This is Shannon with Black Sheep House. In today's video, I show you how this $30 belt sander from Walmart can totally change the game as far as stripping the finishes off of furniture quicker. And I also tried the highly popular Fusion Mineral Paint and let you know what I think. I wanted to show you guys my other sander. This is just a hand sander by Ryobi. It's about $40 at Home Depot and it can really get the job done. So don't feel like you need a belt sander, but if you're looking to strip your finishes a little bit quicker, the belt sander may be the tool for you because at the price point of $30 from Walmart, it really does a great job at removing finishes quickly and with very little physical, you know, manual effort. It's just back and forth, back and forth. I'm not applying any pressure. I'm not working hard to remove this finish. But let me know in the comments if you guys have a favorite chemical stripper. I don't know if you would even believe this, but I've never used a chemical stripper. I've always been too intimidated and thinking that they would be too messy. I don't know. So let me know in the comments if there's a chemical stripper that you guys think is the bomb. Another problem I run into sometimes with my sander is it gunks up if there's a particular finishes do this, not all, but some of them. And I just scrape it away with either a, like a wire brush, which I couldn't find at the moment. So I used a kitchen knife, <laughs> but it just, you don't need to replace the sanding pad when it gets like that. Just scrape that stuff away. You're going to find that when you start sanding the finishes off of the tops of either dressers or tables that they're going to sell a lot quicker for you. And if you're doing it for your own home, it's just a really nice way to elevate the piece and you don't have to strip the entire piece to get that that wood look on your furniture. You can just do the top and that makes my pieces sell so much faster when they have that exposed wood top. It's just a really really, really eye-catching and attractive look. And so it's definitely worth it for me to strip the top. Not worth it for the body for most projects. But I'm just using the Dollar Store Palmolive Oxy um, dish soap and then the Dollar Store Scrubby Pad here. The directions on the general finishes paint say that you only need to clean and use this scrubby pad. And the same was, um, I, I found the same directions on the Fusion Mineral. And you guys know I normally sand with a 220 grit sandpaper, and I'm sure most of you guys do that as well. But I decided on this project I would test it out and see how well it holds up. I'll, I'll hold on to this piece. I won't sell it right away. I'll hold on to it for a few weeks and I'll do a scratch test and I'll put that in my um, stories here on YouTube or something. But this paint is very popular in the furniture painting community. Um, it's about $24 for this container, which I would say will do two and a half dressers. Two and a half large dressers is how much you're going to get for $24 worth of paint. And you don't need to buy a primer and you don't need to buy a top coat, they say. Um, I did end up waxing the piece. But the wax I added really not for the durability or anything. I just added it for the look and the warmth that it would add. But I'll go over that later in the video when I get to that step. After I did the first coat of paint on the base of the dresser, I used a little bit of leftover paint and I did a ratio of two parts water to one part paint to create a paint wash that I'm going to use on the wood top of the dresser. 
So this is going to look a little light and bright at first, but it will absorb into the wood and it is just a great way to modernize and bring this whole piece and make it more cohesive. I do add some warmth with some brown wax um, to, later on in the video when I wax the entire piece, but to start I'm just doing um, one coat of this whitewash and then with a washcloth or lint-free cloth I just blend it in and rub it around. The cloth is damp with water so that it just blends nice and easy and then I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I go in with a second coat of the wash, the paint wash. And again, that's just the same exact paint that I was using on the base of the dresser. So you only need one product <laughs> for these two steps, which is nice. Then you see me go in for a second coat on the base with the full strength paint. After all that's dry, I'm going in with some wax. This is a special dark by Minwax and I find it at Lowe's. It is um, a great affordable option, but there's lots of um, brown wax options in the furniture painting world. I can list a couple if you're looking for something that's a little bit more natural. This stuff, you are supposed to wear gloves. I'm not touching it at all with my fingers. It's just on the cloth there. So um, yeah, but you know, just be careful. And um, I, I love the warmth that it adds on top of the whitewashed finish. It's just exactly that perfect, like nice brown. And don't worry if your piece doesn't have like the dark grooves that were left over from the previous finish, it's still going to look really nice and um, it might be, you know, be a little less rustic, but it's still going to be beautiful. So here's a reminder of the before and here's the after. Wow, what a cool project. I'm really stoked with that top. I think it's just really beautiful and this is going to sell very quickly. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!